Thank you for joining me today. It's uh, Monday, November the 14th, 2022, here at Covenant Keepers Ministries. We're continuing a little bit of discussion here week to week of 2 Peter 1, 3 through 9. Here's what it says in the New King James Version of the Bible. As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. But also for this very reason, giving all diligence adds to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness, to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. For if these things are yours and abound, you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who lacks these things is short-sighted, even to blindness, and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. So this week in our video devotionals, we're, we're going to discuss virtue. It says very clearly in verse five, but for this reason, give all diligence to add to your faith virtue. Virtue equals good character. In 2 Peter 1, 3, the Message Bible clearly states that everything that goes into a life of pleasing God has been miraculously given to us by getting to know personally and intimately the one who invited us to God. Our faith must be rooted and grounded in the personal and intimate knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So, as we look back at this, we see that God's allowing us by his promises to share in his divine nature. His spirit comes to indwell us. His glory begins to be reflected in us. And that power that raised Christ from the dead becomes active in mighty strength in us. Revelation and spiritual wisdom and understanding become a part of our everyday life. Praise God. So in our first lesson last week, we, we discovered that basic faith has three main ingredients. First of all, a firm conviction producing a full acknowledgement as God, of God's revelation or truth. Secondly, a, a personal surrender to him. And thirdly, a conduct inspired by such surrender. So verse three and four teach us that no additional human wisdom, technique, our theory is needed to complete the sufficiency of God's word that reveals our perfect salvation in Christ. Everything we need, everything we need for life and godliness has been provided for us. Grab a hold of that. Everything you need for life and godliness has been provided for us. We were exposed to the knowledge of God, which at some point birthed faith in us enough that we began to acknowledge his right to our life. Then God imparted divine nature to us so we could escape the corruption of the world caused by evil, evil desires. Now we're ready to move on to this fifth verse, which I've read already. But for this very reason, giving all diligence add to your faith virtue. So Peter's ready to list the virtues a Christian must develop in order to be spiritually victorious and fruitful before God. So actually he's saying, here's the aim. I want you to be victorious spiritually and I want you to be fruitful before God. And he introduces this list of virtues by, by, by the phrase, giving all diligence. That phrase demonstrates that believers must be actively involved in their spiritual growth. In other words, although we have the divine promises, exceedingly great and precious promises, we don't just sit back and do nothing. It's not like we're in a, in a rocking chair or a roller coaster. We're just going to coast our way into heaven. That phrase demonstrates that we must be involved in our Christian growth. And those who become Christians must immediately put forth every possible effort to add to their faith these qualities that he's going to talk about. Note that the godly characteristics do not 
automatically grow without our diligent effort to cultivate them. Now, your salvation is secure in Christ Jesus. It's perfectly complete. You don't, you don't need anything more for salvation. But once we are saved, these things ought to become a part of who we are. And he says, I want you to diligently, to give all diligence to add to your faith. Now, the word diligence in the Greek is spude. And it means to speed, eagerness, earnestness, forwardness, and haste. And so give all diligence, give all diligence to add. Add to this basic faith that that the knowledge of Jesus Christ has been granted to you. Don't delay, make haste, come on, get on this business. So as a believer, I must spare no effort, no expense, but willing to be spent and to spend to provide for virtue. And these graces, he says, are a part of what we add to our faith. In a great sense, what he's saying is, this is a continual call for watchfulness and activity and demands everything you've got. There's one other phrase very important here. It's add to, the add to your faith. Diligently, that is spude, add to, with speed, add to. Add to is this phrase that, that means to furnish besides or to fully supply, to aid or contribute. So we're to be adding to our faith. We're to be encouraged, exhorted, pulled along, pushed along, if you please. Let's add to our faith. By the way, this is the challenge that we have as believers to bring everything into focus so we can add to our faith. Let's pray. Father, I, I thank you, first of all, that you call us to something, not just to sit by and watch you do the work. Even though we know you began it, you'll bring it to completion, but we cooperate. We surrender, and then we do something. We make haste, effort, earnestness, to add to the faith that you stimulated in us by the knowledge of who you are as God. And that causes us to trust you. And so as we walk through this this week, Lord, and, and we look at your word, we pray that we'll be encouraged and strengthened and do in obedience what you call us to do. And Lord, for those who, man, they, they didn't understand this when they accepted Christ, let a, a new enthusiasm come into them for your purposes, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. God bless you, and I encourage you, let's be adding to our faith.